Hello honeys and welcome to the vlog. I know it has been a hot minute since your girl has put out a video, but we about to change that. Over the past like month or two, Dustin and I got married, put an offer in on a house, bought a house, started breaking ground on the shop, um, and now we are a couple days away from moving. So by the time you guys see this video, we will be in the new house already. Um, so as you can see, I just have boxes after boxes after boxes yeah just kind of wanted to give you guys a little like moving update i feel like now i'm like a pro at this and i don't know when i started packing i was like you know we like i got this we don't even have that much stuff we're in like a one bedroom apartment with a loft like whatever um no we have a lot of stuff it just keeps coming so i went to u-haul got a bunch of boxes we have the moving company coming on friday san diego moving company um you guys if you're in the socal area and are ever moving you have to use them they're absolutely incredible such nice people and so accommodating and like easy to communicate with which is huge because this is already like super stressful moving and packing and all of that good stuff so huge shout out to them um but i've actually never even used a moving company before because I grew up in like my childhood home. We didn't, we never really moved. And then when I moved out of my mom's house, I just packed up my car and moved myself. And then moving from my old apartment into this apartment with Dustin, um, we did the same thing. We just rented a U-Haul, packed all my stuff up ourselves and moved it in here. But now that we have like a full blown apartment we are using a moving company so we're packing up everything taking everything out of the drawers wrapping things up like this so yeah i just went to u-haul bought a bunch of boxes and then this like wrapping stuff i don't have the thing up here with me but it's actually perfect for like furniture like this or like mirrors or weird things or whatever highly recommend getting that and i'll show you guys that in the video in a little bit but that being said Tips and tricks for moving. Number one, label all of your boxes. So you guys can see that on the top of every box, I'll write what it is now as we make it downstairs. You guys can see how much like we've done so far. So Dustin's messy office actually looks so much better now that everything's packed up. So Dustin's office is like so empty right now. And again, using this like green wrap stuff. Let me, I'm just gonna get it for you guys so I can show you. I don't, I have zero clue what it's called. Maybe you guys do. So it comes like this and you just, it's like saran wrap. That's exactly what it is. And you peel it off and wrap it around like whatever you need and it's super easy because you just keep going like this. But I use that on like things that we can't necessarily pack but I really don't want to get ruined. All of Dustin's like big photo frames, I just like wrapped it like that so that you know, it doesn't get chipped or damaged or anything like that. So yeah, tip number two, honestly, if you're moving, would be this stuff. And let me show you what else that I did with it. Okay, so, oh, wrong way. Okay, so I have like a lot of shoe boxes that I keep my shoes in. And for moving companies, like you have to put everything in a box, but I would be wasting like so many boxes if I just filled them with more shoe boxes, a box and a box. So, check this out. I just took the shoe boxes and wrapped them up like boxes. You see what I'm what I'm saying here? Like this one too. So, that you can easily just grab them like a box, like so, and it all sticks together. Just so it's like way easier for us to transport. And yeah, don't mind the giant mess in the room that we have, but it's also cool because I'm like cleaning out my closet and getting rid of a bunch of things. So I hate clutter. I hate clutter. I can't stand it. So it's actually super nice to kind of go through everything and just like start new. I've gotten my side of the closet done. You can see Dustin is clearly slacking over here. Another tip for packing too. So obviously up until the day you move, you use certain things, whether it's like food in the kitchen or like your toothbrush, bathroom things, um, like shampoo, conditioner, all of that good stuff. So 
I was kind of like, okay, well, I can't pack like everything in the bathroom yet because we still have to use it like up until the day we leave. But what I did do was I packed a majority of what we could that I know we weren't going to need and closed that box. But for the things that we still do need, like all of our face wash and shampoo and like makeup and toothbrushes and all of that stuff that we use till the morning we leave, I actually started just packing a, another bathroom box and I just leave it in the corner here. And it has some stuff in it right now, but I'm basically just like leaving it open so that the morning that we leave, whatever is left over in here, we're just throwing in there and taping up so that that's kind of ready to go. So throughout the house, I have certain boxes that are already taped up and they're ready to go because I know we're not gonna use that until we leave. There are some boxes around the house that are still open and I'll keep them open until like the morning that we leave just because we're using things still in the morning or like until the night before, like kitchen stuff or whatever. So it's easy to just keep open boxes, but at least have it half packed. And then if you need anything, you can easily like reach out of it or just when you're done using stuff, just throw it back in, tape it up, you're good to go. And I'm just super, super excited kind of for this next adventure and next chapter in life. So I will see you guys on moving day. It's moving day, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see the apartment is so empty. It makes the apartment look so huge when there's nothing in it. But after all of this packing and dust, my allergies are acting up like crazy. So my eyes are like super red and puffy and my nose is runny, but I cannot be more excited. Huge shout out to San Diego moving. I literally wouldn't have been able to do this without them. It's like truly incredible. They are the nicest people, so quick and efficient. And I know you guys have probably seen, we had like glass coffee tables and um, like TV stand and all that. And they actually take the glass off and completely wrap it and tape it in blankets. Um, they did that with all of our mattresses, our desks, all of our furniture. They are absolutely incredible. They rolled out these like awesome mats to like roll everything in and out of. And one thing I noticed too is that they're like really quiet. Like... I don't know, I guess you just don't really think about it, but when you're in an apartment complex and you have neighbors and you're moving things in and out, it can get really loud, but just the way that they like pick things up and they put down the like dollies, they make sure to like set them on the ground so they're not making a bunch of noise to like disturb people. It's just little things like that that like I personally notice. So again, huge shout out to them. If you're in the SoCal area, you have to check them out. They are so unbelievably awesome and it has made my life so much easier they're so easy to communicate with all of that good stuff um so yeah we we're moving this is it this is the last time i'm going to be standing in this apartment dustin already headed over there because we had the internet company coming we're gonna finish up here i'm gonna head to the house um unfortunately not all of the flooring was able to be put down before we moved in because not all of the flooring came in at the same time of course so not a big deal just kind of happens when you're remodeling a home so um only part of the house has the new floors but i can't wait to see them i'm so unbel unbelievably excited so let's go see what they look like all right boo things it is day friday saturday sunday monday tuesday four of being in the house i was just out here laying by the pool for a little bit but we have new floors ladies and gentlemen don't get me wrong it's still under construction so our flooring came in and since we have stairs um and these little like step downs going from like one level down to the living room i had to order like stair nose pieces well the stair nose pieces decided not to come in when the flooring came in. So the stair nose pieces came in a week after the flooring. So that is why I have like open concrete right here because we don't have those stair noses. So just a little home renovation probs, but I have learned that throughout this entire process of like buying a home, doing some renovations, like if you let 
the little things like that get to you like yeah we have to have concrete bathrooms until our tile comes in and half of the cement here is showing but that's what happens when you're doing home renovations and if you let those little things that you truly can't control like i can't make them come any faster get to you it's just gonna ruin your entire day so i've just learned to go with the flow it is what it is and so what it'll get fixed eventually thank you guys for coming along on our moving process i have only ever heard horror stories about people moving and hiring movers and i cannot tell you enough how easy san diego moving made it for dustin and i like i didn't lift a finger they treated our stuff like their own they were so quiet so professional they have a really really clean truck things that like i pay attention to um they wrapped absolutely everything that could be wrapped they undid all the furniture that needed to be undone they then came here delivered everything and then set up all the furniture that needed to be set up so truly truly incredible i highly recommend if you're in the socal area to use them like i have nothing but positive things to say about them i will put the link to their website in the description below because they're totally worth it so that being said that is all that i have for today's video there's gonna be a lot of house things coming up just because that's kind of what's going on in my life right now probably a lot more uh wildlife creatures so far we have rabbits squirrels um saw a mouse and a rattlesnake and um like 397 lizards so yeah that's all that i have for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed i don't have a tea money quote i've been so bad with these i gotta bring these back into the vlogs but yeah i hope that you guys all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one Mwah!